Good evening. Good evening. Glad to see you all here tonight. Uh, we have a couple of visitors with us. We welcome you. Hope you'll be blessed as we worship our Lord together this night. Um, by way of announcement, if you have not received a calendar, uh, and there's um, there are some on the table there um, for you, so you can pick one of those up. Uh, please, one uh, per family, but only if you have not gotten one yet. No double dipping. <laughs> So don't forget, uh, Christmas Day service will, interestingly enough, be on December 25th, and uh, it'll be at 10 a.m., and it'll be another of uh, lessons and carols, so uh, do plan to come out and worship our King on the day that we celebrate his birth. So uh, we, we trust that we'll be blessed as we sing and, uh, together, and also as the choir sings as well. Our first number and the rest uh, of the choir numbers will go probably unannounced, but our first number is Alleluia. and sing together hymn 249 in the celebration hymnals. Those are the jade-colored hymnals. Hymn 249.
Thank you. You may be seated. In your bulletins, you will find all the different scripture passages that I'll be reading this evening. Those are the lessons. What we learn about the incarnation, about our Lord Jesus Christ, God come in the flesh. And first, the prophetic sections. And there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots, and the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the Spirit of wisdom and understanding, the Spirit of counsel and might, the Spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace there shall be no end. Upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Amen. Let's take our hymnals and turn to number 244. Come thou long expected Jesus. Heavenly Father, how we thank you for this Advent season. How we thank you for Jesus Christ who came into the world to save sinners. How we thank you, Father, for his grace, reaching down to us while we were yet dead and lost and quickening in us by the Spirit of God. We thank you, Father, that our Lord Jesus Christ came to earth as a babe in humility so that he might die on Calvary's cross and bear our sins in his own body on the tree. So that we, being dead to sin, should live unto righteousness by whose stripes we are healed. How we thank you that he rose from the dead, giving us the guarantee that faith in him gives eternal life. How we look forward with expectancy and with eagerness to his return, perhaps even this very night. And as we come into your presence to worship you, Father, 
We pray that you might fill our hearts with joy and gladness, knowing that we have so great a Savior. For we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's turn to number 245, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel, number 245. just a moment ago. She shall call his name Emmanuel. The New Testament explains to us that's a Hebrew compound word meaning God with us. With us, God. Emmanuel, with us, El, God. And that's what our Lord Jesus Christ is. Indeed, he is God come in the flesh. If he is not, he's an imposter. If he is not indeed God come in the flesh, he cannot save us from our sins, for only God can forgive sins. And our Lord Jesus Christ forgave our sins. That's why he died in Calvary's cross. Let's take our hymnals and turn to number 255. Lo, how a rose air blooming. Number 255.
the sin and death he saves us and lightens every load. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise. When as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man, and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privily. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Now all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which, being interpreted, is God with us. Amen. Please take your hymnals and turn to number five, 256, Love Has Come. Number 256. from eternity past, and our Lord Jesus Christ indeed is from eternity past, for he is God. And John makes that clear in John chapter 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. 
That was the true light which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Amen. Please turn with me, if you will, to hymn number 270, Joy to the World, the Lord is Come, 270. And tonight she's also going to be singing a solo for us, a solo accompanied by our digital hymnal, since she can't play the organ and sing at the same time. And so, Kathy, if you would come and share with us in music.
his glory evermore proclaim. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail thou that art highly favored, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. He shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Highest, and the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there shall be no end. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? And the angel answered and said unto her, the Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. And behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, she hath also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month with her who was called barren. For with God nothing shall be impossible. And Mary said, Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed from her. Amen. Please take your hymnals and turn to number 278, Angels We Have Heard on High, number 278. <laughs>
Gloria to God in the highest. In excelsis Deo. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, every one to his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth unto Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David to be taxed, with Mary his espoused wife being great with child. Amen. Turn with me, if you will, to number 250, O Little Town of Bethlehem, and let's stand to sing. Number 250. I neglected to make uh, when our program is over tonight, uh, when our worship service is over, in the back of our church, the narthex, there are some refreshments uh, waiting for us as well, so you're all invited to partake of that. This time we'll have a free will offering, uh, and I'll ask the ushers if they would come forward, please. Father, you've given us the most matchless of all gifts, 
the most perfect of gifts, an unspeakable gift, that of eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Father, we pray that you'll bless both gift and giver this night. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Please turn with me, if you will, to number 279, Infant Holy, Infant Lowly, number 279. taking place that night as God himself penetrated history.
top? Yeah. I'll take one the night before, then one in the morning. Okay. 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 Okay.